y'all welcome to stephanie sneaker stories so i'm so excited this is my first episode and we're gonna just talk all things sneakers like i feel like oh i could talk about this for days so we just you know we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get into it before i start off my story behind my first pair of sneakers that i'm gonna show you guys i actually want to shout out everyone that participated in the 30 sneakers challenge so if you don't know what that is search up the hashtag 30SNKRS challenge and you'll see what i'm talking about so basically i started this challenge went from october 1st to october 30th and what you had to do is you had to wear a different pair of sneakers each day for 30 days you couldn't repeat it or know nothing and the reason why i chose 30 days was because if somebody wanted to use the hashtag for different months they could like compared to like if i chose 31 days then it's like they're limited to the month they could do it so oh and then obviously you can't do it in february because like there's no 30 days or yeah there's no 30 days in february but you know i was thinking ahead and i'm like what cha what number is gonna feel right so that's how i came up with 30 sneakers challenge and i chose 30 just because like i felt like that's a home like you know that's like a it's like a month thing and i just felt like it was just it's really a challenge because it's like you could do a week challenge 15 days challenge but a month i don't know about y'all but i've never like completed a challenge for 30 straight days like i don't that's just that just shows and that just showed me people that are really into sneakers like yo like there's people out there that really are gonna do 30 days of different sneakers which was just so dope to see so with all that being said i want to first show you guys my first sneaker for today's show so if you don't already know you guys can see this box here you can all right we're gonna take it back like if you don't have this pair in your closet it's like or if you never owned this pair, it's like, I'm not going to understand the logic. But, you know, Air Force One, like, come on now. Come on, guys. I'm going to be mad basic right now and tell you guys, Air Force One, like, all white. Like, what are we doing? Now, the, th the thing is, though, the story behind these sneakers, though, it's not just an Air Force One. Like, these are customized. I'm not, all right, so, guys. Can y'all see it? I kept it simple, like really simple. Like, I don't even think I put a design in here. Nope. But I definitely like put these colors there because like, hello. And in the back, I put like all four colors. I'm going to show you guys the other one. Ooh. Um, you guys see this? It's blue and pink. I chose these colors because I really love like bright, bright colors. So I felt like this was just it to do. And as you can see, they're fresh. I clearly have not wore them. I wore them like twice, three times. And I feel like the reason why I want to share this is because like the story behind it is number one, obviously I got them customized. And I should tell you guys who customized it, but... It was somebody from Florida and they customized it and they they do do a good job. So I definitely recommend you guys to, you know, get your sneakers customized. But with that being said, I feel like in quarantine, like these, these sneakers like hit different for me because like during quarantine, I feel like mad people had got their sneakers, I mean, Air Force One customized. Like, you were seeing that all over your newsfeed. I don't know about y'all, but in my newsfeed, like, that's all I was seeing. And it was, like, mad dope designs. I kept mine cute and simple because, like, I just, yeah, I'm just very indecisive. But um, I like these, and I just feel like I love that people were tapping into their creativity, which is, like, for example, a lot of people got into, like, their art skills, and they started designing sneakers and all that and i just feel like that's so dope and that really made me like spark me to be like oh like i'm gonna get my sneakers customized so i just feel like you know these are definitely my quarantine sneakers my covid sneakers my customized sneakers and i'm gonna always look back at these and be like yeah like i got these done when 
I was in quarantine and COVID was happening and everybody was getting their sneakers customized and I got mine customized. Like, I feel like these are literally for like decoration, like straight up just decoration for like just to have around the house. I don't even um really wear them, you know? But with all that being said, like, again, it's just so dope to see people tapping into like their creativity, tapping into things that you can do right now because, you know, all the stores aren't open like that. Well, there are stores, but like, you know, you're limited to a lot, you know, and then it's like more people are in the house right now. Like some, some, some people, like if they work in the office, they're working from home. So I just feel like, you know, it's just so dope. So shout out to everybody that really is like, you know, tapping into things. Clearly I'm tapping into another thing, which is this, my YouTube show. So yeah, that's the story behind my sneakers, y'all. My customized Air Force Ones. And if you haven't got yourself a pair, like, yeah, I suggest y'all get yourself a pair. Hit up somebody that customizes sneakers. You know, I know a couple people. So, you know, you guys can hit me up. I'll, I'll send you guys to some people. But with that being said, that is the story behind my pretty sneakers. My pretty Air Force Ones. And um, I just want to say, like, thank you so much for you guys. To you guys for like tuning into my first episode and i can't wait till you guys see the other episodes i already i'm already working on the on the other half of my show so you know your girl is serious you know it's real but yeah y'all like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i appreciate you guys so much and i'll talk to you guys soon bye